Hey, anybody and everybody that's out there already. I'm a little early. Uh, I hope you're, uh, I hope you haven't been waiting too long. I'm excited to be here with you tonight. We're going to start in a little while as soon as some more people come, but uh, I'm really glad to be with you. So uh, I don't know who's here so far, and I'm going to see if I can get a little idea of who's here. Okay. Got a nice group so far. Let's see if I see some names I know. People are coming in. I see names I know, and I see names I do don't know. I love that. Um, even Dr. Mike is here. Maybe we'll bring Dr. Mike on tonight and let you all meet him. If you don't know who Dr. Mike is, uh, Dr. Mike is our chief medical consultant, and maybe he'll come on and tell his story. Mike, send me a note if you would like to come on and tell your story tonight. People might like to hear that and see you. Um, Wow, we got a great group. There's a lot. There's a lot of names that I don't know, and I see some old friends here. It's very exciting for me. And I should say again, we'll we'll uh, not waste a little time, but we'll talk a little bit. We'll get started a couple of minutes after the hour, and I'll set everything up. Um, but I can't tell you all how much I love doing these webinars. And frankly, I would like to do them more often. And it's just, you know, I just love connecting with you. And it's a real treat for me. And I see Mike said he's here and he can speak good. So we're going to put you on tonight, Mike. Let's see, maybe you'll even answer a question. Maybe you come on with me for a while. How's that? Okay. Um, he said, sure. So I'm seeing people from lots of countries which really excites me so okay those of you in the u.s all right this is this is a normal time i see i see india and i see three different countries in europe and i see australia and i see canada all right canada's this time but you know for those of you that are getting up in the middle of the night um or i guess some of you even tomorrow um uh, it's great it means a lot because people like to complain that the time is never right for them. And you're showing that this matters to you and getting pain free or staying pain free or whatever it is matters to you. And you show up and that means a lot. So that's terrific. Um, and all right, we got a couple of more minutes to go. I could do a little song and dance, but I don't sing and I don't dance very well. So um, if you have questions, by the way, in the meantime, or if you wanna speak, I think there's a way to raise your hand here. But in the meantime, if you send, you'll see for those of you, I'll go over this again, but there's a, at the bottom of your window should be a box that says Q and A. And if you type questions in there and you're willing to have me call on you and bring you onto the air with me, then you can start putting some questions in there. And uh, some of you, I will help personally. And I'm learning the software keeps getting improved. No, I don't want to remove anybody. So uh, I'm just seeing if I can, uh, I think there's a way to raise hands. Oh, there must be something you could somehow you can raise your hand. So let's see, how do you raise your hand? Because I have an option to, oh, I see hands. God, you guys are so good. All right, so okay, I see Nicole has a hand up and Mike, Dr. Mike, I think had a hand up and it's down. Okay, good. All right, so those that are gonna wanna come on and speak with me, raise your hand. So that way I'll know that, um, you're coming up and we've got questions and i'll try and figure it out so um wow we got a really good group here tonight i'm excited about that i'm excited about that so it's six o'clock we're going to give it one more minute i'm rambling and i know i don't want to just i don't want to kick off i want to give everybody a chance to come in and um so we'll give it one more minute and um, 
if I don't know you, because some I can see where in the world you're from, others I can't. So in the Q&A, if you're from out of the US and I haven't mentioned your country yet, you know, give me a note, put, put your name in the Q&A and tell me where you're from so I can properly welcome you because it's, it's, it's a long way. Oh, good, thank you. Somebody said good rambling. So uh, uh, give me a cardboard box, put me in front of a supermarket and I can ramble for hours and hours and hours. Those of you that know me know that. Australia, yes. Okay, I mentioned Australia, but I didn't know you were from Australia. So welcome, Nicole. And Connecticut, all right. Well, Connecticut, I think we included in the US, but um, hi, hi, Catherine from Connecticut. Nice to have you here. All right, it's 6.01. I think it's probably time that we get started. Um, first of all, I wanna welcome all of you to this webinar. I do webinars very differently than other. You go to a webinar and you hear people talk and they just talk and they teach and they talk and they talk and they talk. I would rather help you get better, stay better, uh, take care of a problem. So the way I run the webinars is I may, you know, I'll talk for a couple of minutes, but what I'd rather do is bring you on, have you ask your question, work with you, talk to you, and uh, let everybody come in on that. And what is very important for all of you to know, one person may ask a question, you may think this has nothing to do with me. It does. Because the way I'm going to answer that question, I guarantee you I'm speaking to you. So no matter who maybe is the one I'm talking to or the one I'm helping or the one I'm working with, just know that the entire conversation is for you. And if I take them through a bit of a process or I'm talking to them or I'm leading them, go with it. It's, it I, I can't speak to everybody, but the important thing to know is I don't have to. The right questions will come, I guarantee the right questions will come up and my answers will be speaking to you. So you wanna make sure and um, stay with it, participate. This is not me teaching you. This is not me selling you. This is not, this is me helping you. So it's a great time to take advantage of it. As you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see that there's some options for you. One is a Q&A, so please send in your questions. Please raise your hands and I would love to, um, to bring you on. Now it's, it's, it, it would be appreciated if you have your video and everything working, if possible, because this is, visual and it's nice for all the other people we've got a bunch of people here uh, to be able to see that the other thing is there's different kinds of questions let me tell you first and foremost what this is not this is not a woe is me webinar this is not the time to raise your hand and say oh no it doesn't work for me oh i'm in pain oh i try that's not what this is for that's not going to help anybody so there are two different kinds of questions to ask. One is an informational question because we have people here, we have people here that have been through the program and had success and maybe they're even certified master zero pay now practitioners. We got people that have been through the program and had some success. We've had people that are struggling. We've got people here that uh, probably have no I've never seen me, heard of me, and just ended up here tonight. So there's a couple of different kinds of questions, and I'm, again, I'm here for you. So the informational questions are, gosh, what are you talking about? What causes pain? Why has, you know, I've had fibromyalgia, bulging disc, whatever, I had surgery. Uh, I tried this, it didn't work, why? So those are informational questions, and if you're new to this, that's fine, perfectly acceptable. Then there are what I call freedom questions. And they're the questions that are really will help you become free from pain. I was, I'm going through the process and I get to this point and I feel this and I'm having trouble getting past that. And later now we're talking freedom questions. We're moving towards freedom from pain. So if you've been around for a little while, Go to, the, go to the freedom questions and we'll see what happens. 
and I'll stay here and I'll work with you and and we let this happen really organically. So I just, I wanna welcome everybody. And I only see, so, so I said this before a lot of people came. Um, at the bottom somewhere there, it says something to raise your hand. I don't have that because, um, because uh, I'm the host. So I don't have a raise your hand. Um, so raise your hand. If you wanna come on and you wanna ask me a question, raise your hand. This only works when people participate because I don't sit here and teach. Now, I think in the Q&A, I see some questions. No, just people checking in. So, okay. So I'm gonna get started and if people will stay and we'll, we'll answer some questions. So. What I will do, by the way, is when I call on you, I will make you a co-presenter. I'll bring you on with me and we'll talk and we'll let everybody else uh, pay attention and go with us. So uh, I'm giving advance notice. Lori, I'm going to bring you on. You ready? I hope you are. So you'll probably go dark for a second and come on. So Lori, here we go. Other people raise your hand and let's see. And Lori, are you there? Hey, I see you. Speak. Okay, there's a mic. There's a microphone in your lower thing that you probably have to unmute. I know it's down at the bottom someplace. How's that? There you are. Hi, Lori. Hi, Adam. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Now, I know you, right? Uh, we spoke on the phone briefly. A long time ago, like months ago, right? Yeah, it's been a couple months. Okay. So I'm glad you're here. And once again, I just want to remind everybody out there that Lori is the one I'm speaking with, but it's for you. So, so use it and participate because this time is all for you. Okay. Lori, what do you got? Well, this is a freedom question. So um, I've been following the, the guidelines and um, since I guess about early January, um, about six years ago, I was uh, diagnosed with stenosis and I've had this left leg pain and et cetera, and it goes down into my knee, particularly when walking, um, it's very painful. So my question is part of the getting through TMS is, is the whole, um, out issue and uh, I've got this constant popping very loud very it's not painful but very loud popping um, on, on any movement it doesn't have to be going up and down stairs just any time and I find that that leads to a sense of instability um, and makes me feel insecure doubtful I guess you know you're being photo bombed or video bombed as we speak right <laughs> Hi there. No response. Okay. So there we go. I got to wave back. Okay. So, so let me ask a couple of questions. So you've been diagnosed with stenosis. You're having left, le left leg pain. Now we spoke, but I'm assuming from, from the verbiage you use that you're not, are you using a program? Yes. Yes. I've been using the program and then I, I went through the whole program and was still in pain, so I'm still doing it. I'm still journaling and um, focusing on my emotions and that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I've, like, I feel like I think about it all the time. My emotions, what I'm, what I'm feeling Ooh. in the moment. Um, but I'm still experiencing the pain. Okay. Did you have any? Has there, has there been any fluctuation up or down? Occasionally, I'll have a day where it feels a little better, and I'll be able to walk uh, fairly well. Um, but what's different on those days? You know, I don't know. And sometimes I think it's you know maybe I took an aspirin the night before. I don't know. Um, I don't think an aspirin takes your spine and. No. <laughs> All right. So so let me let me respond a little bit. Now there's a lot of people out there that 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 let me give a little background. So to all of you out there, what we found after decades of research 
is that almost never does structure have anything to do with causing pain. Uh, there's a lot of diagnoses, spinal stenosis, which Lori said, bulging disc, herniated disc, uh, fibromyalgia, torn rotator cuff, torn meniscus, migraines. Uh, what we found is almost whiplash. There's a whole bunch. Of almost never, and, and when I say almost never, less than 3% of the time, does structure have anything to do with pain? It actually originates in the brain, and then there are actual physical changes, and the results are pain, tingling, burning, numbness, and or weakness. And while for some of you, this sounds impossible to believe, you've been told the cause of your pain is whatever, and you know the fibromyalgia people yell at me because they're told that it's chronic and it goes forever. I just want to give you, I want to throw a little credibility into the mix for those of you that, that haven't been here before. We just finished a pilot with Mayo Clinic. Every single person they sent, the average time in pain had been 17 years. The diagnoses were bulging disc, herniated disc, degenerative disc disease, spinal stenosis, fibromyalgia, migraines, and probably five or six that I'm not remembering right now. Every single one of them was pain-free and had their case closed within 28 days or less. That includes a CEO at Mayo Clinic who was having three migraines a week and had his, his pain was gone before even finishing the program. So the process works and the cause of pain. Now, we're not just to make sure we're not talking about acute pain. If you break your foot, it hurts. Six weeks later, it's healed. Anything longer than six weeks. And we're not talking about organic illness pain, cancer, MS, rheumatoid arthritis. Those are organic. We're talking about all those other diagnoses that probably just about all of you have. So the, um, all that said, so what, what we found and has been proven, there's a reason we've had a 97% success rate in the private sessions is that repressed emotions, stress, intention actually cause this these physical symptoms to start and the end result is pain tingling burning numbness and weakness okay so there's an overview so what Lori's saying is she went through the at-home process and some fluctuations but she's not where she wants to be now she used the term tms tms was a term um that was that was given by a doctor who who originally worked on this diagnosis at zero pain now we always call this dps which is diversion pain syndrome because I that's for that <laughs> yeah that's okay no 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 it's fine the purpose because all of these things help lead you to feeling better even the name because once you get that it's a diversion from these terrible emotions you're already on your way just by understanding the diagnosis so Okay, so some fluctuations, not so much. Now I will tell you that I have never seen a spinal stenosis as the cause of pain. I've never once had a person with spinal stenosis that that was the cause of the pain. So let me now ask you, when you were going through the process or when you're going through the process, how are you with coming up with emotions? I, I can articulate them, but sometimes it feels um, like I'm making them up in a way. I mean, I, I okay, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I feel you know I get annoyed by things like anyone else, but this sense of repressed rage. Um, there's certainly things in my life that I could be angry about, but you know, I, it's hard to really tap into it. It's not how I was raised, first off. <laughs> okay, so, so now everybody, please get that. It's not how I was raised. That, it's not, I, it wasn't okay. The anger, the rage, the next thing you know, she's in pain because repressed emotion. So it's not okay. So, Laura, the, the cause is always the same, right? It's repressed emotion. So you've, it's hard. It's only hard because you have some belief system about these emotions that makes it hard. If it was, pro you know, if it was sadness, you'd probably tap into that. Or if it was happiness or laugh, you know, you'd, you'd probably be fine. So 
let's do something right now. What's your level of discomfort? I'd say about a six. About a six. Okay. Is that typical or is there a typical? Um, it, it goes up. If I'm walking, usually if I'm sit, seated, it's not as bad. If I'm walking, it's quite bad. Okay. So let's now, by the way, I, there's nothing to say that anything can happen while we're doing this now, but I can guarantee that whatever I do with, and again, when I do this with Lori, I can't say it enough, follow along. Everybody follow along. If I take her through something or take anybody through something, go with it because this is for you too. And I can be talking to her and you can be going through the same thing and she may have no luck at all and you may be pain free dancing down the street. So, um, okay. So let's, let's see where we are. You want to, you want to, we can only spend a few minutes cause we got other people, but sure. You want to work with me a little bit, please. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I just want you to close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath. And here's what I want you to do. And you can do this. I want you to drop everything from your mind. You can do this. I want you to drop all of your beliefs. You can believe me. Let's imagine that I have a room and I, you want to come into the room with me. And it's a very small room. So we need to get rid of all the extra baggage before you come in. So drop all your beliefs and everything from your past and everything from your future and your concepts just drop everything empty pockets let go of everything because every room without all that stuff drop it drop it drop it i promise you It'll be there when you want to pick it up on the way out. Everything. And, the, and your mind is going to want to throw new things in there. Just drop those. They go right down. We're not thinking. We're not doing anything. We're just dropping everything so it is a blank, 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 blank you. Everybody else can be doing this at the same time. Are you there? Yep. Okay, so now you can keep your eyes closed if you like. Keep all that, drop all that. You can come into the room now. It's you and me. And now with all of that stuff gone, I want you to tune in. I don't have to say anything. I just want you to tune in to the area around your neck. And notice any physical sensations. No meaning, no nothing. I just want you to tune into your neck. Notice any physical sensations that are there, no matter how little or no matter how big. And now take all your attention and drop it into your chest. Notice any physical sensations in your chest. And now drop into your belly, notice any physical sensations in your belly. And these are the areas where the negative emotions tend to live. So right now, with all of your attention there, all that other stuff is still outside. We're only looking at the, those areas right now, the sensations that are there. And as you keep all your attention there, no beliefs, no concepts, nothing. All your attention there. I said, right now, what emotion are you feeling? No, no, no. Look at me. Okay. Here's what you did. Right, right up. Okay, that's why we do this on video. Everything down, all of your attention down here. We're not thinking. All, everything's still dropped, nothing's changed, your pockets are empty. Real quick, your neck, your chest, your belly, notice those sensations. That's where these negative emotions live. But with all your attention down there, 
We're not thinking right now. What emotion are you feeling? Distress. I'm feeling distress. I'm feeling distressed. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? It can be the same. It can be different. All everything's gone. Just your attention down there. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling anxious. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling anxious. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling distressed. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling nervous. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling nervous. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling anxious. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling anxious. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Still anxious. Is it okay to still be feeling that? Whatever the emotion is, is what it is. Keep all your attention there. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? We're going to do this for a little while. Everybody doing this with us. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling nervous. Good. And now? Feeling nervous. Good. And now? Still feeling nervous. Good. And now? Feeling anxious. Good. And now? Feeling upset. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling exposed. Okay, good. So exposed isn't an emotion. But that's okay. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Uh, nervous. I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling nervous. Good. And now? Feeling nervous. Good. And now? I'm feeling anxious. Good. And now? Feeling anxious. If you look under the anxious, lay down. If you kind of look under the anxious, what's lurking below? Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling upset. And upset is that angry? Annoyed, angry. Good. So right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling frustrated. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling frustrated. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling angry. Good. And now? Frustrated. Good. And now? Impatient. And now? Annoyed. Good. I'm feeling? I'm feeling annoyed. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling frustrated. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? Feeling angry. Good. And stay with that. Notice how that feels in your body. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Still feeling angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling annoyed. Good. And now? Feeling frustrated. Now? Feeling annoyed. And now? Feeling angry. Good. And now? Feeling outraged. <laughs> Good. And, and now notice you giggled when you did that. See, there's no congruency there. Stay with that emotion, but that's a way to try and get away from the emotion. No problem. Right. Stay with that. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling outraged. Good. And now? Feeling angry. Good. And now? Feeling angry. Good. And now? I'm feeling outraged. And now? Feeling irate. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. And now? Feeling frustrated. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? Feeling irritable. Good. Now, if you do a quick check right now with level of discomfort, what is it? About a three. Oh. So you stay, you keep your, I'm going to talk for a second. You keep your attention down there for a second. So everybody watching, you've been in pain for ages. Process, now she gets with me. And all we're doing is a simple process. And her pain just went from a six to a three in a matter of a few minutes. There's the, it's not magic, it seems like magic, but that's what zero pain now does. Now, I want to keep, you, you stay with that. I'm talking to you, but I want you to keep your attention down here. 
what you did, and I want to point this out to everybody, very, very typical. I start out with the emotions, anxious, nervous. That's almost universal. Everybody starts out there. And then I get a little frustrated. say the emotion and then eventually it gets to anger and rage and rage is really the emotion that's almost always repressed and and, and Laura is it's Laurie not Laura sorry it textbook in the way you're going through this but you just got the proof I mean we're just talking I did not take your spine and elongate separate so you went from a six to a three so we're gonna do this for a couple of more minutes by the way people Raise your hand if you, uh, if you want to come on. But, but Lori, let, let's just go a little bit more so that we can kind of ground you in this. By the way, when you felt that rage, the outrage, right, or feel it, did the roof cave in? No. Earthquakes didn't happen? No. It's just an emotion. There's probably colors that you don't, aren't your favorite, right? You have some colors you love and some you don't like that much, right? Right. But would you ever say there was a bad color? It shouldn't be there? No. Okay, emotions are the same. They have no meaning, none. They're just emotions. They're just like colors. They come and go. And the more you, you, you acknowledge them, by the way, all of you out there that have been told if you focus on it, it gets bigger, Medical term, Dr. Mike, you can correct me when you come on, but I believe the medical term is bullshit. <laughs> because it is not true. When you give this some attention and when you acknowledge it, they actually start to move through like clouds. Now, this is easy, by the way. You can come in and out. We're having a good time. I'm having a good time with you. And I hope everybody's coming along with us here. I'm having a good time with you. I'm checking in myself. I have a ball of rage in my stomach where I feel like if I could take a crowbar and break every window around, I would do it. It's just an emotion. That's not going to stop me from having a great time working with you and helping you. They're just emotions. So let's go right back. Tune back in. Remember, everything's still gone. You left all of that outside. You can pick it up on the way out. All the beliefs, all the limitations, all that stuff. Empty pockets, empty, 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 empty. Tune into your neck. Your chest and your belly. Belly is where it usually is. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? I'm feeling outraged. Good. And now? I'm feeling outraged. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? I'm feeling irritable. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. And now? I'm feeling annoyed. And now? I'm feeling angry. And now? I'm feeling outraged. And now? I'm feeling annoyed. Good. And now? I'm feeling outraged. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? I'm feeling outraged. Good. And now? I'm feeling annoyed. And now? I'm feeling angry. And now? I'm feeling angry. And now? I'm feeling outraged. Good. And now? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? I'm feeling outraged. Good. And now? I'm feeling annoyed. Good. Everybody doing this, I hope. And now? I'm feeling angry. Good. Uh, level of discomfort? Say about a two. Good. Okay. So we went from a six to a two. You get it. There, There is nothing. If you could go from a six to a nine or a six to a two, it means you can go to a zero. Before we hang up, so to speak, Tune in. Tune into your body and notice those emotions. Notice that, that outrage, as you call it. See, how, Notice what it feels like in your body because it's going to be much easier for you to um, 
recognize that going forward. So I should maybe do that exercise when walking, when the pain sure. starts. To you can, anytime, the minute you have anything, but let's, you know, get rid of it. And it's only because I want to talk to some other people, but it's the same. And if I take them through a process, you know, continue to do it along, but, but recognize that and, and that dropping everything, leave it outside, bring it in. Once all those beliefs are gone, the belief, this, it, it's not okay to be anger, peace, and love, you know, once all that's gone, it's just there and it becomes really simple. It is. So, how do you feel? I mean, how do you feel about what we've done in the last whatever few minutes? I, I'm thankful for it. I, um, it, it makes my whole body kind of like shake a little bit, you know, sort of. <laughs> Good. So stay with it. By the way, you can be happy. You are not. You are not. I, I give you no permission to be happy until you've been pain free for two weeks. Then you can be happy again. But, but it's you're going to want to go back. You've got. I shouldn't ask you, but I'll ask you. How old are you? I'm 61. 61. So you've had 61 years to learn how to mask those emotions that weren't okay when you were a kid. You didn't grow. Check that. Be with them because your mind is going to say okay that was a good experience and it worked now <laughs> you know and the next thing you know there goes the pain stay with it okay. it's a simple process it's simple you have the email address to send let, let me know what's going on okay i will thank you i appreciate uh, it very much thank you very much and you're a perfect example i'm going to i don't know how to do this i want to remove you as a panelist and now i don't know <laughs> I can't find you, so you're stuck with me forever. <laughs> Worse things, but where are you? Um, oh, oh, panelists, there it is. All right, so your screen may go dark for a second, but then you're going to be uh, change role to viewer, and then you'll be back as a viewer. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. May you have a very pissed off day. <laughs> Okay, goodbye to Lori. So look, everybody, there's no magic here. She wasn't a setup. Her pain went from a six to a two in a few minutes. She was willing, she was willing to see her emotions, to acknowledge the emotions. They're already there. You don't have to dredge them. This isn't work. As you noticed, she wasn't working hard. All she was doing was following the pointings as I pointed her to the emotions that are already there. All she had to do was acknowledge them and her pain went. And I mean, this is years and years and years of pain in that short period of time. Doesn't matter the diagnosis, bulging disc. Whiplash, torn rotator cuff and a bunch of others. So that was a great example of how fast this can work. And I guarantee it, she'll go to zero. You can't go from a six to a two talking about it and not be able to go to a zero. So I think I'm trying to see, how do I find out if I have, okay, we've got, um, you know, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring Dr. Mike on for a second. I see some other people with hands raised and I see a bunch of questions. We may be here for a while, so. I'm just seeing and the anonymous viewers said, just for the record said this process you just went through answered my question too. I'm glad I wasn't on camera for that though. Oh my gosh, it's just emotions. Lots of sobbing, lots of fear. Thank you for that new great tool for me to use in my DPS journey. Whoever you are, thank you. And by the way, tears, emotions, they're fine, let it, it, it's, it's, it's like your body burping out stuff. It has no meaning whatsoever and congratulations. So look, you come to these things, people get better. Okay, so I am going to bring on Dr. Mike for a second and then, or maybe longer, and then we're gonna work with some more people. Keep your questions coming, raise your hands. Uh, let's see if I can find you, Mike. Oops, I almost removed you, that would have sucked. Oh, here it is, promote to panelist. Let's see. 
There he is, Dr. Mike. Un listen, how many times have you used Zoom? Unmute yourself, please. Look at the microphone and unmute yourself. No, I, I, you, your mouth is moving and there's nothing coming out, which is okay for me, but you're, you're, you've got no volume. Do you see them? Okay, go? okay. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah, this one's different than the usual Zoom. I, listen, tell it to somebody that can. Okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Dr. Mike. Now, now Dr. Mike is one, I'm just is one of my favorite people in the world. Oh, I you too, him, I, it's, And he knows it. He's, he's our chief medical consultant, but he didn't start out that way. So how about a, a, a short version? Because there are a lot of people that don't believe me because I'm a doctor. My doctor said this is chronic. You, you know, F, you do this to yourself, screw yourself. Uh, my doctor says it's chronic. What do you know? I'm going to have fibromyalgia forever, whatever. True. So tell a little bit you know, give the two minute version of your, of your story and how you came to Zero Pain Now and what happened for you. Sure, sure. Well, I, I was in pretty horrible pain for 35 years. Um, actually, honestly, it was mild pain for maybe 10 years and then moderate pain, but for the last 10 years, it was very severe pain. And um, I started to figure out that it wasn't just physical. I knew there was something more going on. But I had pain in my back, in my neck, in my knees. I had plantar fasciitis. I had TMJ problems, all sorts of stuff. And it was so bad that for five years, I had to take Oxycontin and Percocet around the clock just to be able to function. And when I was taking those meds, my pain level was like a five or a six. It didn't go down to a zero or a one. It was just barely tolerable. And then I discovered zero pain now. In fact, I was seeing a therapist at the time and I walked in and saw your book on his desk. I looked at it and I, I just knew. I was like, that's what's going to get me free from pain. It was just one of those things. I just knew. So I started to read the book. I had some improvement. I got really busy and didn't finish the book. But I came back to it a couple months later and signed up for your advanced virtual session program. And that's when it happened. Within a couple of days, my pain was improving. I'd say within a, within a week, the pain was probably 50% better. Within four weeks, it was like 90% better. I was a little slow. It took me six weeks to get to like 98% better. Um, I tapered off the narcotics within a month and a half or so. Haven't needed any pain medicines in about two years. Haven't had to take anything. And, and, and so, okay. So, and you were a little slow. But we had, and, and you and I only, we had a, like, I think a phone conversation. As I recall, the, yes. I was walking on the beach. So you were doing yes. this on your own. You're a very cognitive guy oh yes god yes very <laughs> cognitive guy so mo it's funny i've helped a lot of doctors get pain free and they usually do take the longest because they're very cognitive and by the way all of you out here are going to fall into what i say you love to think and thinking it's a it, thinking is the thinking is a great thing but feeling is as you just saw with with Lori is what it takes to end the pain you got to be connected to, to the, your emotions now dr mike what people probably don't know, they know you're a doctor because I keep calling you Dr. Mike. Um, why don't you give a, you know, 30 seconds on what you did as a doctor? Well, I did family medicine, but then I specialized in therapeutic joint injections for arthritis. And I did about 50,000 of those in four years. So I was pretty experienced. And honestly, it helped people temporarily but it never solved anyone's problem. They had to keep coming back every six months for more injections, more injections. So yeah. I, I much, yeah. much prefer what yeah. I do with zero pain now, get the permanent pain. results. Yeah. 50,000 pain injections and not one ever became and stayed pain free. Oh no, no, not at all. Good, so, you know, and, and look, there are a lot of you out there that are probably really skeptical right now. And I don't blame you because you've been told Structure causes pain, fibro cut, all this stuff. It's not true, but you've been told this over and over again. It's one of the reasons that, you know, you're that Mike was willing to, to, to suspend his disbelief. He didn't even have to believe it, but he was willing to suspend his disbelief for a little while. And that was long enough for him to get better. And then the proof was out. And now he's, he's mm -hmm. day in and day out. So for those of you that want to get better, it's always the same cause. 
it's always the same cause. It's the truth. And the truth is unrepress the emotions. The pain's going to go away, just like you, you, you saw happen a minute ago. There has to be willingness to do so. So you want to, I think, I don't know how this works. Would you like to stay on as a panelist with me, Mike, as I bring the next person on? Sure, sure that's, that's fine. Can I, can I really briefly share what happened to me about a month ago? Yeah, please. Um, I decided to reorganize my entire basement because it had been 20 years since I did anything with it. And I started to do that. And lo and behold, I got some moderately severe back pain. Hit me all of a sudden. Did I stop? No. I said to myself, you know what? This is diversion pain syndrome. I have some pain in my back. I better start lifting some really heavy boxes and bending as much as I can. And within a half an hour, the pain was down to like a 0 0.5. And I spent the next 10 days, about 10 hours a day, rearranging my basement, moving lots of heavy things, lifting, moving boxes. Didn't even think about the pain that, that came on because I knew it was diversion pain syndrome. And as soon as I acted in the exact opposite way that logic would have told me to act, the pain went down to basically nothing. Well, and most people do... By the way, I'm a chiropractor. Everybody I see privately is a referral from a doctor or a chiropractor, a physical therapist. I love them. Um, but, you know, people, if they were in your situation, next thing you know, they're out. And, and this goes on for years. I've had people as long as 60 years in pain. Yeah. One of them was married to, a, to an orthopedic surgeon. She'd been in pain, I think, 61 years. And wow. I was pain free. Okay. So let's move on. I'm going to come over here. I, there's some hands raised. I'll see if I can figure out whose hands were. I figured it out once and now I can't figure. Oh, okay. So, all right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to somebody that I know is going through the program right now. So I'm going to go to Amy. And Amy, I'm going to bring you on. So get ready. Put some clothes on. You're coming on. <laughs> And let's see, in a minute, we should be, Amy, you're, unmute your microphone. There's a microphone down there. Okay. What do you do, Mike? Just click. Okay, hey, yes, how, you got are it. how are you? No longer mute. No longer mute. It is nice <laughs> to see you. Say that again? It's nice to see you. And nice to see you as well. Thank you for. So I'll, I'll just, Amy's doing a, an, an at-home program, the same one Dr. Mike did. By the way, if people send in daily reports, and even though I'm not one who responds very often, I read them all, so I have a little bit of, there's a bunch of them out there, but I have a little bit of a handle on, on Amy. So, what's your question, Amy? Uh, well, uh, my question is most, is, is kind of that I have this multiple symptoms. You know, I don't just have a pain in this one area, and I know a lot of people have that, you know, it's the fibromyalgia diagnosis, you know, I've got all of the different stuff. And then in the last uh, five years or so, I've started having like chest sensations and stuff like that that sends you to the ER, kind of scary stuff. And so I've been trying to, uh, and, I, and I really can see the cleverness of my DPS because like for a few days, I was feeling a lot less pain. And then I started having these other stuff that was really, you know, at the forefront. And so I tried to do the thing where I tell my brain, the hell with you. I don't believe you. This is diversion pain. I don't always believe it when I'm saying it, but I try to do what you say to do. And I've been doing my daily process, as you know, and, and, uh, and I'm getting... I know I'm a very blocked person as far as um, any anger emotions, you know, I'm, in my family, I, I was the nice girl, you know, and I'm the one who never gets mad at anyone and all that crap. <laughs> and how's that working for you pain one? Oh yeah. <laughs> I would way rather have just slapped everybody silly all my life and not be in any pain. Well, the, the good news is, first of all, you don't have to have slapped them silly. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Sort because of. We, can, we can, you know, you can be free now. The, as soon as you unrepress the emotions, you're pain free. So you can do that now. You can do it tomorrow. You can do it in 20 years. It, it's, it's up to you. You said that you had less pain. So just if you have less pain and you're doing a psychological process, 
You can, by the way, what's your diagnosis or what are your diagnoses? Well, I had whiplash and concussion to start with 28 years ago, and, and now I have I, fibromyalgia, I guess. It's okay. traveling pain, and then you, know, you told me I have an autoimmune and all the other. Of course, all those things. Okay, so none of, could, I, I mean, I'm just going to talk logically for a minute. Everybody answer together. Oh, and I have osteoporosis. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Of, co of course, because there was still some room on the diagnosis. <laughs> um, by the way, everybody, two things. Number one, this it doesn't have to be super serious. I know there's there's pain and pain sucks, but the fix doesn't have to be so serious. Uh, we can have a good time. They're just emotions. Is it even possible? I want to I want to ask the the most ardent skeptics out there, and the I want you to really think now for a minute. You don't say that very often. <laughs> if you're doing a, I really don't. If you're doing a psychological process and your pain becomes less, is there any chance that the cause could be physiological? I can still find a cognitive way to, to, to doubt. Okay, it's okay to doubt, but how, tell me, because what I like to tell people is either prove me wrong or be free from pain. So I'd, I'd rather be free. Yeah, but, but so tell me, I, because it's fascinating, and, and everybody be part of this. That's, that, that's the fun of this. There's interplay here. This is real. Well, one of the rationale. You know you can do something psychological and have the pain come, go down. Um, because of the fact that I've always had up and down constantly, and so that's what I use that I can hear myself thinking, well, yeah, but you know, this has happened before and then it's back, you know, that kind of thing. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Good. Okay. So one thing I want to point out to you, again, speaking to everybody here, something you said was quite common, the pain went down and then other stuff. So the repressed emotions, for anybody out there are a diversion. So it's to divert your attention from these terrible emotions, rage, whatever, to something physical like pain. Um, you know, it's interesting you mentioned the heart stuff. I had a story one time, we had somebody, Kelly, I don't think she's here tonight. Kelly was a triathlete and you know she had terrible pain and they told her if she ever tried to swim again that she would without oxygen she would die and here's the process same one you have same one mike did got rid of her pain but what she didn't tell me i'd never met her she she sent me a note and she said what i didn't realize she'd had two heart surgeries and was having palpitations all the time and her palpitations disappeared as well so what happens with all of you in pain is it's a diversion. It's like these emotions aren't okay. Unconsciously, consciously, everybody would all be rather be pissed off and pain free. So your, your mind throws these physical symptoms at you. Hey, you know, Amy, focus on this. That way you won't get the emotion. So when the pain goes down, your mind said, uh oh, um, we got to do something so you get the other stuff which is why so many people who have back pain, they have back surgery, then either it comes back and it's blamed on scar tissue or some other stupid thing, or they get neck pain or gastrointestinal problems or some other diversion. So that's the game and you can win the game. How do you win the game, Amy? By, by feeling and acknowledging my feelings. I, right. I've been told. <laughs> So, so right now, and again, we'll, we'll, we'll take a couple of minutes because what you will find is, what's your level of discomfort right now? Uh, one of my questions is, do I focus on just one thing or if I've got four things going on, what do I do? What do you mean? Well, like right today, I'm having the chest sensations and I'm having low back pain and neck pain. Okay, and Mike. I, <laughs> I would say pick the whatever's worst. Amy, we lost you for a sec. Let's see if you come back. Wait, wait. No, no, hold it. Wait a minute. Did you really say that? Who, me? Yeah. Is that what you said? All right. You go, shh, mute yourself after that answer. <laughs> Amy, tell me about the, tell me about, I cannot believe you said that, Mike. Tell me, <laughs> Mike knows this as well as I do. He's, tell me about the, what is the diversion? So what, what is, the diversion does what, Amy? 
diverts me from feeling my unbearable emotions or acknowledging them. Right. The purpose of being aware of them. The purpose of diversion pain syndrome is to divert your attention from some unbearable emotion to something physical like pain. So if you focus on any of them, what are you doing? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I see. Okay. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought you meant for the pain level, Adam. I know. I know what her pain level was. But I, it was my time to make fun of you. Okay. Who else can I make fun of, a, of an Ivy League, you know, doctor? Sure. Uh, all right. So, Amy, anytime you're... We're not focusing on the pain. We're not focusing on the body. We're focusing on the emotions. Anytime you focus on your physical, the diversion is working. That, that, that's just, the pain is just out there. When you give all your attention to your emotions and you unrepress the emotions, you're going to check in and there isn't going to be any pain. Got it, Amy? Yeah, yeah. But I guess with the chest thing, when you're you're focusing on this part of your body to feel what you're feeling it's it's like it i don't well i'm just not good at, at focusing on my feelings let's just admit it really you're not good at it <laughs> no. well you got you there was a time you weren't good at repressing either yeah and i'm good at that yeah you learned how okay <laughs> so you want to learn something else i do okay so how about you want to and again this could Everybody takes the amount of time they take. Yeah. Once it, it's always the same. It's always the same. And the process is always the same. You can get better now or tomorrow or 20 years from now. It's all up to you whether you're willing to allow your emotions to be there. You were taught that it wasn't okay, right? Yeah. Can you see that? Can you see the, the, that, so that's, you have had some, you had some belief, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you see that's kind of a dumb belief? Like, would you tell, would you tell, who else, would you tell your best friend it's not okay to be enraged? No, or my daughter, no. Okay, good. So, let's play a little bit and see what, what, did I ask you what's your level of discomfort? So give me a, give me a level of discomfort now, just so we can track a little bit. Six. Six. Common number. Okay. <laughs> All right. So right now, what's going to happen is I'm in this little room. You want to come in the room with me? It's a very small room. We only have room for you. We don't have room for your beliefs and your concepts and your self-image and all your past and all your history and all your future. We don't have room for any of that. So you can, I find it easier with my eyes closed, but you do whatever you want. And, and, and you can do this, just drop everything. You can leave it on the shelf outside. Believe me, it'll be waiting for you when you want to leave. Drop everything, drop it. Everybody out here do this. Mike, everybody's doing it together. Drop. Just drop all your concepts and all your beliefs and all your history, everything. Empty, 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 empty. You are an empty vessel when you want to come into this room. So look at nothing in your pockets, in your shirt pocket, your purse is outside. None of that stuff is there. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Empty, empty. There's nothing. Empty space. And you tell me right now, were you able to do that? And just be honest, whatever you, you know, were you able to do that? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, good. You believe so? Or we're dropping <laughs> beliefs? There's no beliefs, drop the belief. It feels like I did. <laughs> okay, so good. So everything's there and now you come in, but I only, leave all that stuff outside. You're just the empty space of Amy's coming in. Okay? Okay. So now, empty, empty, empty. You left it outside, right? Yeah. Okay. So now I want you to just tune in and notice any physical sensations that are in your neck. And any physical sensations that are in your chest. Any physical sensations that are in your belly. And this is the area. I want all your attention down there. This is the area where those negative emotions tend to live. 
You notice the notations? Yeah. Okay, good. So I want you to keep all your attention down there, and you know the game. So right now, what emotion you feel? Fear. I'm feeling? Fear, I'm feeling fear. Good, right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling? It can be the same or different, whatever it is. No thinking, all your attention down there. I'm feeling fear. Good, right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling sadness. Good, right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling impatience. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling frustration. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling impatience. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling confusion? Okay, confusion isn't really an emotion. So underneath that, what am, right now, what emotion? Again, keep everything down, all your attention down. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling frustrated. Good. Feeling Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling anger. Good, right now, notice you're shaking your head back and forth no each time you do it. This is another way to get away. So just notice that. <laughs> there, there's the laugh, which doesn't go with frustrated and angry. Okay, good. So again, these are the ways that our unconscious mind tries to just sort of keep us. They're just emotions. You're safe. You're very safe. All your attention down there. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling shame. Good, right now, what emotion are you feeling? Embarrassment. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Shame. I'm feeling? Shame. I'm feeling shame. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling more shame. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling anger. Good. Right now. I'm feeling anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling shame. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling anger. Good. And now? Fear. I'm feeling? I'm feeling fear. Good. And now? I'm feeling anger. Good. And now? I'm feeling fear. Good, and now? I'm feeling anger. 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 Good, and now? I'm feeling shame. Good, and now? Feeling fear. Good, and now? I'm feeling anger. Good, and now? Feeling fear. And now? Feeling shame. And now? Feeling impatience. Good, and now? Feeling anger. And now? Feeling anger. Good, and now? Say it like you mean it. Notice that feeling in your body. Feeling anger. Good, and now? I'm feeling anger. Good, and now? I'm feeling fear. And now? I'm feeling anger. And now? I'm feeling anger. If, if it's ap appropriate for the masses, what are you angry about? Whatever first comes to mind. I'm feeling angry that I have to help take care of my mom. Good, okay. So stay with that. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling shame. <laughs> and now? I'm feeling anger that I haven't gotten better faster. <laughs> okay, so you don't have to keep giving the reasons. I just, okay. right now, what am I, and no, notice here, let me, I mean, just look at me for a second. Okay. I'm feeling anger that I haven't gotten better faster. It's okay. Those are, by the way, you want to start to notice this, everybody out there, you want to start to notice when you do these little giggles and things to get away. Yeah, okay. Down here, it's just an emotion. 
the anger, the rage, the taking care of the mother. It's okay. They're just emotions. They don't fit with your self-image of being a good daughter. Right. But they're appropriate. And they're appropriate. It's right. Nobody wants to take care of a sick mother. Nobody wants to take care of a sick kid. It's not okay. The appropriate emotion is rage. It doesn't mean you don't do it. But you know what? It wasn't supposed to be that way. Right now, what emotion is feeling? I'm feeling anger. Good. And now? Yeah, I'm feeling anger, more anger. Good. And now? Feeling anger. Good. And now? I'm feeling burning anger. Good. And now? So you giggled again. Uh, Don't giggle. Uh, Stay uh, with yeah. it. Okay. Right. I'm feeling frustration. Good. And now? Feeling fear. And now? Feeling shame. And now? Feeling anger. Good. And now? I'm feeling anger. Good. And now? I'm feeling anger. A level of discomfort right now? Um, maybe a three. Okay. Well, it's very common tonight, six to three. Okay. So, you see, by the way, um, your, when your mind tries to take over and say, oh, I've had fluctuations before, tell your mind they never happened talking to Adam in a few minutes, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, you see, everybody out there, look, that's how, and again, if there was more time, Amy would be at a zero. There's no question about it. By the way, it's one of the reasons the private sessions are so great, because people get pulled down to that. You get it, Amy? I, I, I do. Okay. Did, once again, like I said, did, I, I can see the house behind you. I don't, nothing fell off of the wall when you, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just emotions. Can I call my mom and see if she died, though? <laughs> you can call, it, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I could come up with a hundred. Bottom line is nobody wants, you know, sh nobody wants to do that. Stay with your emotions. Don't, your mind's going to want to go out. You've, you're already trying to make jokes. And I know this isn't the time. Okay. After you're pain free, make all the jokes you want to stay there. Your mind is going to start pulling you away back to your old default. Got it. Your brain, this is a, a process of neuroplasticity. Experience changes the physical properties of your brain. So every time you do this and go, you're going to be more able to, to get there the next time. So after this call, go do this process. You know what to do. Um, stay there. It's okay. Just stay with that emotion. Just stay. Everything outside, everybody can do this. Everybody can do what Amy and Lori did. Leave everything out, drop all that stuff, focus here, and start to connect with your emotions. Anybody can do this. is not rocket science. It's all you have to do. They're just emotions, and they're already there. There's no digging. You didn't have to dig, right? They're there. What color is your shirt? White. How do you know? <laughs> I see it. Yeah. Your emotions are just as there as your shirt. You trained yourself to look this way, but they're, they're there. You saw how easy it is. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. So go do that afterwards. We're, I can't believe we're already past the hour. Um, stay with the emotions. Everybody out there, I'm going to take you off. Amy, thank you very much. I don't remember how to do that for the... 50th time. <laughs> Let's see. Change all the viewer. Bye, Amy. Thank you. Bye. Um, guys and gals, that I'm, I'm looking for questions and stuff. Um, that's, that's all there is to it. It's not hard. Yes. The people that I have helped tonight have had, they're doing these courses. They've read the book, the workbook, they've, they've watching the videos. They've got this information and it's, it's really helpful. And if you're not, I don't know who's out there. If you're, if you don't have a zero pain now course, 
look, you've seen this work in front of you. Go get the advanced virtual session or do a private session with me or Dr. Mike, who's less expensive than me, whatever you want. It works. You're seeing it work. This is, you know, I, nobody's, I, these people are just coming. These are real people doing real things. And they, they're not doing anything that you can't do. This is a simple process. It just takes a little bit of dedication. It's not work. So um, we're past the hour. I'm just going to. Let's see what I have. So if I can answer a couple of quick questions. OK, here, somebody said, I don't know if, I, if you want your name. You didn't go anonymous, but oh, shoot. Uh, when I have soreness, tightness, surge, I do a few push-ups or take a quick bike ride, but it only helps temporarily. And that soreness, tightness ends up being worse the next day. Why is that? The reason it goes away temporarily is the repressed emotion starts a physical process. There's less blood flow. As soon as you start moving blood around, you get there's oxygen in blood. So an oxygen deprivation or ischemia is, is there at the pain. As soon as you start moving around, this is why chiropractic and physical therapy bring some temporary relief. You feel better for a little while, and then the pain comes roaring back again and again. Joseph, you're not, um, you're, you're treating the symptom. You're doing pain management instead of pain banishment. If you treat the symptom, you get temporary relief and the pain comes back. If you eliminate the cause, your pain goes away and it stays away. Pick the program that's best for you. Um, Got a question on, so I'm going to answer a couple more questions quickly and then we'll, we'll break. Uh, are psychological disorders DPS2, major depression, general anxiety, panic disorder, those cause all kinds of awful, unbearable emotions. If they're DPS, do you treat it the same as a physical issue? If you have no... <sighs> Repressed emotions can cause all of those things but not necessarily. My suggestion, anonymous viewer, is go to the Zero Pain Now website, find, go to the private stuff, find Dr. Mike, and set up a time, set up an, an appointment just to talk to him. It's free, and he'll ask you some questions because, by the way, anybody, we train people like Dr. Mike, and most of the people we train are not doctors, and they're, they're, they're just regular people. We finished, finished one this week who was a contractor, he had pain, got him pain free, and now, he, now he's a zero pain, now master practitioner. The reason I say that is along the way, we learn, you learn techniques on how to get rid of emotional pain and physical pain, depression, anxiety, all these panic attacks, all this stuff um, as well. So I would contact Dr. Mike on that. Uh, somebody said, thank you so much during those exercises. My pain went down, but as soon as I stop, my pain returns. What do I do about that pain? Keep going. When do you stop? You stop when the pain is gone. I don't recognize your name, so I'm going to suggest that you get one of the programs or work with Dr. Mike or me or somebody because the goal isn't just to have your pain go away. It's to stay away. <laughs> and again, you're, you're, you're all seeing it happen. So, um, Dr. Mike, what do you yes, uh, what do you want to say? Say so after you screwed up or no, no, I know you missed it. Um, what do you tell? There's a bunch of people out there right now. Many of them are skeptical. Many of them are, are you gotta be less skeptical, but but what do you tell them? Like what do you tell them right now? You're a medical doctor, you're a smart guy, you've seen both sides of this. What do you tell them? I would tell them. I was skeptical at first, and then it worked for me, and then it worked for my clients, and then it worked again for me once or twice when the pain tried to come back. So it absolutely works. And it's like you say, it's, it's really easy. It's not hard work. Um, even nowadays, I probably spend about a half an hour a day focusing on the areas of my body, you know, neck, chest, and stomach, not because I'm in pain, but just to keep the pain from coming back. And also, it's helped me with other things like depression and um, other emotional issues that had nothing to do with pain. So it absolutely works, and it's easy. Um, it's, it's like you say, it doesn't, it's not rocket science. You just 
you, you learn a few simple things about the process, you do it and it works. There's no downside, by the way, to anybody no. to be emotionally aware. Many of you that are suffering pain, by the way, I, you, you know this. Mm -hmm. You have boundary issues. You're not good at setting boundaries. There's all kinds mm -hmm. of ancillary benefits. You'll find that you set boundaries better. Your, your, your whole, oh, yeah, this, will, this will improve your life all over the place because you're going to yeah. realize the stuff that's bothering you that you don't even know bothers you and you'll be able to set boundaries. So, yeah, Adam, it helped me a lot with boundaries. And I've had, and this is not something I would do the Zero Pay Now program for someone else necessarily, but it solved my problem with depression because my particular problem with depression was from repressed anger and that's gone now. And I recently had a fairly intense episode of dizziness that came out of nowhere. Turned out it was repressed emotions. I got in touch with the repressed emotions, dizziness went away. So it's, it's useful for other things too, primarily for the pain, but for other things also it works great. Exactly. So look, everybody, first of all, I want to thank everybody from, for coming. Um, it's a treat for me. It's a treat for me to be with you. And sometimes I kid a little bit, um, but it's, it, it's an honor for me to, to spend time with you. And I know that each one, every, other people raise their hand. I can't call on every person, but, but know that I'm with you and know that these answers are for you and know that we got a whole staff here ready to help you if you need some help. Uh, use us. And I'm going to do more of these and, and bring your friend. You got a lot of people in pain. And, and the point isn't to sell anything. It's just a chance for us to come into the same room and help some people feel better. So I want to thank everybody uh, for coming. We'll do this again soon. If you need some help, send us a note, contact Dr. Mike, whatever you like. And if not, I hope to see you again soon. And you won't hear this from many people. May you have a infuriatingly uh, fra uh, enraged uh, day and evening. Uh, so on behalf of Dr. Mike, uh, goodbye, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Bye.